Welcome one and all to this 39th episode of D&D with me Mike and me Zoe and today we are going to do some things I'm not even sure what uh, uh, did we, or are we working on some mechanic or something? Or, what were we doing? It was not health. We were doing some sort of hand of God thing. Well, the hand of God is done, but um, so some students have actually uh, found a bug for us. Which is if you pick up the hand of God like this, <laughs> then you press A again. Oh. Then you press A again. So, your character is very ca happy picking up the hand of God infinite times. So, we mm -hmm. need to check simply if the um, if the chest is already open or not. Mm -hmm. Strange that we didn't do this particular check, but we'll find out now what happens. So, it should be under player. When you press A, there should be an interact with things. Hit control. Interacting is true. We pretty much went there. Oh, hello. Open chest routine. Yeah, well, hit control and move anyway. Because there should be a parent to this contextual interaction. That's uh -huh. the one. Enemy bomb ladder treasure chest. chest. Check if chest open. So this must be returning false. Yep. TC get component treasure chest if TC is not null. So the only option that I can see is that TC in fact does result to null. Mm. Do a debug log TC. Dot log. Close it, semicolon. Now, yeah, another option is that open is actually false. Mm. There's a bunch of options here. Let's find out. I don't know why I keep hearing children smashing things. <laughs> okay, so we teleported in a. Oh no, wait, we should be able to. There we go, we're through. So now, save the deleted is the last debug log we're getting. Cherry chest is there. Yeah, that's what we... Wait, I didn't press A. That was odd. I didn't press A. Did I? Maybe I clicked in the system. Could be. So, I, I don't see... We're getting this multiple times when we open the chest, but... Yeah, well, it could be this guy. It is. So it does exist. So the, the problem isn't here. The problem is open results to false. Save. Okay, so let's go here. Which is here. And open. Uh, hit control MO. So that's interesting. See, I don't see an open equals true anywhere. I don't see an opening equal equals true. <laughs> That's a little bit daft. <laughs> but wait, if open is true, then it will always be open, right? So hit control F on open. No, it needs to become true when you do open it, though. Mm. Okay, so open, that checks that. That makes sense. Start open, stop open, open, stop open, open, blah, blah, blah. Open chest duration. Yeah, there's never a situation in which we actually open <laughs> the poor chest. That's funny. So right here, you want to say oh, open equals true. Semicolon, save. All right, now let's go test this. Because this should, should be what's causing the problem. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite funny. <gasps> Okay, so now we got the hand of God, and now it's not opening anymore. Good. And it just stays there. All right, I like this. Our guy can be happy just once this time. <laughs> yes, that's correct. He's only gonna go ha 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 only once. Okay, so uh, let me see. So the next bit. Oof, I'm gonna get hit. Ooh. All at once, you were lucky. Yeah, so we were supposed to be working on the, the concept of picking up currency, I think, and that sort of stuff. I'm not sure if today. <coughs> Sounds like a bomb is really. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so everything is working fine here. Um, right, let's construct a new mechanic then. The chests that contain some type of currency. Um, and yeah, maybe we should also... Ah, we were talking about having vases, you remember that? that oh yeah. That, that's what we were talking about last time. We need to make one that, now, that means. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at environment here, because I just, I just can't remember where we were at. It's been a week or so, and yep. uh, I can't remember. You want to do it in Blender instantly? Well, we ended up making this particular uh, spike in Blender in um, Magic of Oxo. So we have a few of these things still in Magic of Oxo. Um, don't know what this is. Mm. Oh, it's a switch. It's a switch. Oh, that's yeah. easy enough. Uh, it's a ladder, and that's the f spawning flower. Hmm. Yes, let's go create a vase in Magic Voxel. It's a good enough thing to do, I guess. And there we go. Uh, isometric. All right. No, face. This should be face? No. Yes. Yeah, it's I'm face. Sure. So if you shift. No, nope, it's not. All right, because it's on uh, erase. All right, so there we go, we removed it all. Now, circle, undo. I have to go to. So, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Uh, orthographic, not isometric, that's what I meant to do. So it's gonna be a bit of a pain to design this because I don't know that we can simply do that, but wait a moment, I think there may be files that have like the teapot. No, there. So there is a teapot, and this kind of, sort of, kind of resembles a vase. If we can get rid of these extra bits, but it is very detailed. Mm -hmm, it's very... Can we rescale it? But I think is all that's going to happen when we do this is we're going to lose half the teapot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Undo this. Control that. There we go. Oh dear. Is there a way to rescale something in Magical Box? I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. Hmm. Yeah, because this is too high density. But if we can add a sphere, that would help. Yeah, never mind this. So let's go with uh, uh, undo again. Oh, I don't know. That's not going to let us, is it? Yeah, let's go three by three by three, whatever. <laughs> and now we can just remove all of this. Just remove everything. And now simply tell it uh, 64, 64, 64, 64, 64, that's what we did I think, right? Yeah. Okay, and let's see if we can add a sphere. Oh dear. I'm sure there was a way. Uh-huh. Sphere. And we have to make the huge stick for the bomb. So a 64 size sphere. This should fit in here. I don't know if that's correct, but I think so. So the problem now is that it's at the bottom. Um, and that's not quite what we want. So what we need is we need that point in the middle. So we need to make it a huge line. So we can keep on bleating things. Oh boy, this is a pain in the bum. Um, I think it's what, box to select? And this, I think. Rect, you select this and you hit delete. Like this, you hit delete. Like this, you hit delete. Like this, you hit delete. Okay, now we need to select all of them. And, oops, undo. Uh, too many. There, hit delete. Now we're left only with these. We want the one in the middle. So, there we have that thing. Not brilliant, but it may work. That was a lot of work for just one small square. I know. Attach sphere 64. The reason why I did that is so we have this point to begin from. So we can actually make the sphere. Yeah. All right, so now this will look a bit more like a vase, but not quite. But if we simply do this, 
it may really help. So you have to make it like right there, I think. Yeah. There. Now this kinda looks like a vase. Except it is the bottom we should make it a little wider. Right, okay. I don't think so of it undo both right of these. Alright, and now let's hit control uh, let's go back to map or whatever in control and we can oh, undo. I need to move it down. There. And now instead of making a sixty-four Let's make a 48, let's make it a bit smaller. Okay, that's too high, that's all right. Now let's drag it down. And now let's go to voxel selection. Which is this. Square. Oh, to make it a phase opening, I see. What do you reckon? That good it's enough? pretty good. Okay, so I don't think it's in the middle, but we'll sort that out later. And uh, yeah, so we might as well export it as it is. It doesn't particularly matter to us. We're going to do most of the editing directly in Blender. One thing we may want to do is just go to Circle, Attach, Hold Shift, and do we this. And... Yeah, well, that won't work. Undo. Undo again. I'm not. I'm not happy with, because there's no real center. So we're finding ourselves in this peculiar pickle, where we. Because we didn't make a nine by nine by nine square. We made a four by four. There. Have we been able to cheese it? More or less, I think. So I'm just sort of adding these and then. And then gently, it still doesn't look right, but whatever. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter because in Blender we're going to uh, mirror it, mm. so it's gonna look correct anyway. Okay, so that's good enough. Uh, let's go save as, and we're gonna go to Dropbox, Zoe Projects. TTG, that's not it. That should be tabletop gear. So we, oh, that's what it is, yeah. And we're gonna call this one Vaz. Hit enter. And now we're gonna export as a PLY. And, uh, oh, what a pain. I, Magic Voxel keeps, keeps on constantly going throw folder. It's really annoying. Uh, sure, Vaz PLY, save. Okay, now we're back to here, and we can go and import that thing. Vaz PLY. Hit Shift C. Don't. Wait a moment. Yeah, hit Shift C first. I don't know where it put it, but nowhere that I can see. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to do import. Maybe you can just drag. Would make some degree of sense. There you go. Well, undo. I mean, escape. Yeah. Now, tab. And space. Uh, remove doubles. Remove doubles. That's it. And now, space. <laughs> remove that amount of vertices. Yeah. And remove doubles, but limited dissolve, I think it's called. That's the one. There we go. And that should help substantially. Now, let's take a look at what we've got. So we got a big end gone. Delete, delete this with faces. Delete this with faces. And we are going to have problems here. All of these angons are a nightmare now that we need to subdivide. Um, yeah, I'll leave that one alone for now. Yeah, and I need two sides. I forgot the one in the middle. The rest is going to be all mirrored, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Okay. 
Anything else? Yes. There is one over here. And one over here. Delete faces. All right. So there we go with this first thing. Um, we're going to have some to do some segment cutting. So hit. Oh, wait. I forgot one more. This thing is still tiny. We'll worry about that later. Delete faces. Okay. So now we should be able to actually work with this. No, I forgot these. These should be fine actually. These. Hmm. Um, not great, but sure. Okay, now let's see if we can do this. So hit Control R. Oh wait, I forgot something. We need to do an A space limited dissolve again. Okay, and that should help. So Control R. Escape. 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 Control R. Oh, sure. Escape. Ooh, I noticed we have these as well. I've forgotten about these. These end guns are going to make our uh, geometry very difficult to work indeed. To work with delete faces. All right, now hit Control R again. Escape. I just noticed another one. Look at it. Right oh here. yeah, that one. You can't subdivide and then go if you're trying. So that's a problem. <clears throat> uh, and there's gonna be more underneath. No. Okay, Control R. Escape. Control R. Escape. Control R. I wonder if there's a faster way of doing this. There may be. Draw art. Escape. Draw art. Oh, wait a moment. Wait, 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 wait. There is a faster way to do this. So let's delete. And now let's file import again. I just thought of a faster way. Pause. Okay, now tab. And space. Remove doubles. REM. I removed doubles before limited dissolve. Because that way you get rid of loads of vertices already and then limited dissolve actually works. At the moment each of these is a single individual cube, which is really silly. Okay, now B I mean A to unselect. Huh. I've noticed something. It's all sort of shifted. Alright, uh, hit a Z to go into yeah, B. And we're going to remove all of this and then B again. And we're going to remove all of this. Delete box uh, vertices, I mean. There we go. Now, this is going to help enormously, and you'll see why. I'm going to add a modifier, mirror, and it's going to mirror on the X and on the Y. But they're not going to have to do that. turn on clipping. In by two. Eh? You have to move this whole mesh in by two little. Yeah, so spaces. it's A. And G Actually, it's one. X and then G Y there. Tab. Done. Now tab again and space limited dissolve. M there it is. Limited dissolve hit tab. Z. Okay, what are we looking at? 3,000 faces. All right, we need to be able to do better. So, mm, tab. So this end gone, and this end gone. Delete face. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do a huge deal of good here. Um, because in the end of the day, the end guns are going to be 
a bit of a pain and there isn't an enormous amount you can do to avoid that. But we may be able to improve it a bit. Okay. So we're gonna hold Alt and hit E to extrude, escape, WMC, and now G. That should help a little bit. Now these folds, th these are going to be, these are just trouble. Uh, so we're gonna leave that alone for now. Let's see if we find low hanging fruit. This is not low hanging fruit, but it's fairly easy to fix. So we might as well do it. This face and this face, delete F. Mm -hmm. And now let's do this, 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 and this F. And now F, F, oh, undo. Now, wait, undo again. Uh, shift, okay, F. All right, and the same goes for this. F and F, F, don't, no. All right, so this is a fixed face or set of faces. Down here we have exactly the same phenomenon. So we can fix that. But down here we can consider doing things a bit differently. Is this an end gun? Hey? I think it's on end gun, but. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create circles, concentric circles. So delete F. Right. And now what we're going to do is this. And now hit E, escape, WMC. And now we're going to tell it you're going to be at zero and you're going to be at zero. And we've made a concentric cent circle that should work. Now E again, escape, WMC. The shortcut in the new blender has changed by the way, because reasons. Okay, now E. Is it even working? Escape, WMC. It's working, it's just, no, oh, careful you press, oh, press N, not M. WMC, and now zero, and zero. And now E, escape, WMC, and now zero and zero. All right, so that should solve this problem fairly competently. Now here we have the exact same, but the other way around. So there's a face, there's another face, and now we start having these multiple faces, not great. What about these two? These are not end guns. Those are on the sides. We're only interested in the face up top. And then the rest becomes quads. So no, I mean this one that you've selected is not an end gun. Yeah, that's true. But it, we're going to construct these concentric patterns just like this one, which, which helps a lot. Or should anyway. And the fact that it's not it's not a problem it essentially presents itself as a problem because then you need to make an exception for it. So hit escape now. I mean E first, then escape. WMC and zero and zero. Alright now. Next E escape WMC and zero and zero. Now E escape WMC. No, zero and zero, and the last one, uh, wait, E, escape, WMC, and zero, zero, right, so now we have all of these things, no audience, all right, so let's see here now, uh, this end gone and that end gone. These are a bit of a pain. This one, this one, and now we're gonna do the same, but just horizontally. The principle is precisely the same. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, end gones, be gone. All right. So delete. F. F is for face. 
<laughs> just realized something. This is going to be a bit of a pain how we've done it. So undo. Let's create a bottom face first. We're going to delete it at the end. Uh, hit hit F and uh, undo. Hit E, escape, WMC, and now this is zero and zero. Boom. That should help. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you use the make quads command? I've never heard of it. Let's see it. Okay, hit space, type make quads, space Q. Okay, this must be a special library. I've never heard of it. Let's try quads. Quay, follow active quads, quick for, quick explode, tries to quads. Could be this? No. This doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I've never heard of this command, but I'm happy to be educated. In the meanwhile, let's carry on. Uh, these two, this one, this one, this one. Okay, delete, hit F. All right, and now that's the reason why we put that bottom. So we have something we can select. Oh, something interesting is happening here. We have incorrectly selected this part. Hit delete E and makes the edge go away. The other side's fine. Mm -hmm. And delete E. It will be okay later, but I don't want it in the way now. Okay. Why don't you use voxels? We have. And the problem is the geometry is too heavy. Uh, at least to my knowledge. Hit E to extrude. Escape. WMC. And give it a zero. Oh, wait a moment. Not on the Y. Uh, well, not on the... Yes, on the, z on the X we want a zero. That should be sufficient. Yeah, okay, that's good. Now let's go with this guy. Okay, so see? That's going to be a problem with this fellow. Yeah. Because when you then select it, it says, no, I want everything. Uh, because it doesn't reach the edge. That's what I was trying to avoid with the other guy. Right, so now perhaps what we can do is just select these two and hit delete F space. Okay. And I'm not sure what to do. Delete this face as well. Delete F. Yeah. And now let's see. Can we do this? No, it keeps selecting stuff. Man, you're annoying. Uh, we could extrude that to go all the way till the end. Let's do that. So hit E, X. Okay. Okay, so we need to triangulate first and then try to quads. Okay, let's try it on one of them. So hit space, top TRI. Okay, now hit space. Type TRI again. Tries the quads. Yeah, so this is fairly decent. This could be quick. I like the idea, but I'm curious to know what degree of geometry density we get to. But I think it's going to be lower. I think this is a good suggestion. Hmm, this is almost certainly going to be lower than what we're doing. Let's leave this guy here for now. Go to another layer and import it and simply try this out because this could, this could be a very good idea. Uh, so let's import it here. Hit tab. Oh, that's escape, not tab. That's right, space. Remove doubles. Uh, now tab. I mean space, my bad. Tab, tab again. No, no, tab again first. There, space, limited dissolve. All right, now space, 
TRI for triangulate and space TRI for tries to quads. Okay, so we end up with 10,000 tries on this model. We can get rid of some of them, like the bottom ones, but that's going to make minimal difference. The, the topology is disgusting, so that's not great. Excuse me. <laughs> so, somebody, somebody has a um, hiccup. Um, what is this model going to look like? Like a vase. Um, I'm frankly, based on the direction that the project has been going, I'm kind of thinking about ditching the whole voxel look. Um, but there is a bit of a problem with that because our main character is still voxel looking. And yes. yeah, it makes it a bit complicated to simply ditch the idea now. I mean... So our bombs are... Bo so what's the situation with this particular model now? We're sitting at 2,000 tries already. Obviously we need to add some, but I think this is going to be cheaper. Larger box of the woodwork, but that wouldn't be uh, in line with all of our current look. Uh, Alright, so that one we can leave alone, it doesn't particularly matter. So let's carry on with our technique and we'll see what we get. So hit E to extrude, uh, escape, WMC and uh, GX and E to extrude escape WMC and there and E to extrude WMC and thank you and that leaves this with a few more layers E to extrude Yes. Okay, so we've got uh, these done. Now that leaves us with this little monster over here. We have extruded that guy. Now it doesn't know what to do, and I'm kind of happy about that. And there's still this little monster over here annoying us. That hiccup is just not going to let go, is it? <laughs> yep. It's, it's here to stay. <laughs> undo. Oh gosh, undo. Your dad can't pick the correct vertices. Okay, extrude. Escape, WMC. G, X. There we go. All right. So what we are we looking one. at? 2,300 and we haven't yet... And there's edited. a tiny... Yeah, there's, there's the wrong edge over Sorry. here. So hit delete E. And delete E at this one as well. Thank you. All right. Let's see if, by the way, edge selection helps us a bit. It does. We just have this little monster over here, but that's easily solved. Hit E to extrude. X. There we go. Now. Ah. Oh, wait a moment. Is that face necessary? It is. Ha. Ah. Who the funk? Okay, hit Z. Hit B. Uh, B again, please. Okay. E to extrude. Escape. WMC. And G's, GX. GX. Yeah. Okay. There, it's not terrible, but it looks like I've missed something. I think I've missed a layer. Or I've picked it underneath or something. No, I think I've simply missed the layer. There you go. Redo it again. Need to extrude, escape, WMC, GC, GX, I meant. Thanks. All right, so this is all done now. And it should look acceptable. Now we need to remove the triangles at the top. Um, at yeah, the see, see, it looks mm. pretty good though. So I don't know how Unity is going to deal with the shadows for this. This could be a problem. We have a silly little. Uh, end gone here. I mean, this is not a big deal. We could easily leave it, but not a huge fan of end guns. We can do this and hit F, uh, and this and hit F, and then this and hit F, 
There's more in guns, I've just noticed. F. No, these are not real because they're gonna get replaced by this stuff. The sort of interwebs of things. Okay, now it's time to deal with this side. So this little triangulation here is a bit of a pain, but it's not, not a big deal. We're gonna fix it. There you go, there you go, there, there, there. And now there's this and this, and I think this may be the last one. Yeah. Okay, delete faces. All right, now let's see. We had we... to remove these three triangles. And uh, later, just... not quite. We need them at the moment to do this. Mm. Then once that is done, we're good. Okay, hit E, W, M, C, and this time it's gonna be G, Y. And G, Y is gonna be your shortcut for the rest. For the rest of time. Destiny. <laughs> my destiny. <laughs> your destiny. Hit E. Escape. W M C. G Y. Your hiccup is still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, I start. Yeah. Should become a, like a prayer now. You should just be able to recite it. Go. We're left with these two circles yet to address. Whoops, didn't mean to press the window key, but I did. And this is where we need to now get rid of these particular triangles. Um, delete face. The issue is going to be this extruded. And gone. Extruded. That one is not, that's an illusion. Uh, because that one's mirrored on the other side. Oh, 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 oh. Vomits. All right, delete face. All right, and now let's see if we can do this and this. And indeed we cannot. Or can we? Oh, interesting. We may have caused this problem on the other side, but I think just removing doubles or that sort of stuff may work. I think I can see what the issue is. Okay, hit, uh, hit E, haha, <laughs> wait, 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 oh boy, hit E to extrude, escape, WMC, no, wait, 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 and I think it went completely mental because, okay, now, WMC, escape, and GY, okay, I've noticed something. For some reason, it's decided. I think it's because we didn't press E. No, I think something has changed with where the center is going to be. Oh, that's annoying. Um, yeah, no, no. I think I know why this happened, but it's a bit of a bug. I think <laughs> W M and let's see at center. Ah. Uh. It may not be C. So it may be A or something. I don't know. All right. So this one would work, but we're missing the bottom part. So here, extrude it. Y. Whoop. And now shift and alt. There we go. And that should be pretty good. Now extrude. Escape. I'll try W. M for sure. And oh, see, and now it became center. Whereas before it wasn't for some reason. I've seen this before. I'm not really sure what justifies it, but I think it's the mode. Okay, so now we've got this geometry in a decent spot, I think. Do we have any ingots? Yep, two down here. Oh, yeah, those are from before. I think there's. Yeah, two they up. were at the top. There may be some over Ooh. here. No, I don't think so. All right, so let's just sort these out. They're an easy fix, right? Might as well do them. Delete F. So we're I mean, gonna strip the bottom. F. Oh, 
F F and F. And now. Okay. Thanks for the follow. Redstone waffles. Alright, so delete these faces. Mm -hmm. And I think we can stay without faces underneath. No, that should be the safe. What's top? our count? Good. Look at that. Two thousand. Now we need to delete the top, right? Uh, no, the top needs to be visible. You'll see it from the top. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see uh, the second one. So this one is 10,000 tries. So that's that's pretty substantial difference. Uh, now, whether our work is actually, you know, makes sense or not, that we'll find out. I think I saw some see holes. Small... All right. I can see what's happening here. So the issue, actually, this is not an issue. But what we're going to do is we're going to quickly recalculate the normals. And I think they're all going to point out. I think we'll be safe. Yes, everything should be fine, because that's the bottom. Hey, GLN, our day is going fine. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so this should be good. I don't think we actually needed this bottom part, but that's fine. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, now this one's fine. We're left in one and gone. We've left with one and gone, and this was a bit of a problem because it's a loop, right? So you're going sort of in, in a circle. Know, ah, so you have to. Sh shall we risk it? <laughs> Keep W, M, E. Uh, no, uh, my bad. W, E. Yeah. Well, we get terrible triangulation. But we have to do it the hard way. More or less. I mean, I don't think it's a huge deal. Yeah. Hit F. And then the rest should be much easier. Hit F again. So one of these is going to be a triangle. Uh, the center probably has less than the outside. Right? So if you do this and try again W, E. No, undo. Yeah, we want to find a quad somewhere. There will be one. Right? I don't know where it is. Try W, E again. There. These are your quads, if you mm. wanted them, right? And now there's these little ones. Not looking brilliant, if I'm honest. But these in the center are looking pretty good. So... Now there's these weird ones at the side. Yeah. Um, here's what I think we should do. We should delete these three. So, delete F. And now we should create this face. And this face. And this face. Oh, sorry. This face. Uh, this face. This face. And this face. Okay, now let's see what else we're left with. Mm, build one here. One here. Oh. You need to wait for me to depress F. Uh, depress shift. Bloods. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. And go ahead. And now the other side. Oh. Please ah. wait for me to tell you when. Alright. <laughs> Thanks. Go. Alright. Go. And go. Actually, this could be a quad. Ah, never mind. <coughs> it triangulates anyway. Good. There we go. There's a little vase. Any more guns? I don't think so. No, it should be. <coughs> this is going to be some sort of vase model. It is. Okay, here we go. So now what we can do is we can give you the materials. So you recall, we can work with more than one. So let's do one, then add another one and give it B. Now what I want B to be is these central ones. Mm. Um, so we're going to say uh, these and these and these. Oh, Selected that's interesting. Some hoops. Yeah, somehow we've picked those two, which I didn't mean to. Okay, here we go. And we can assign this to be. Alright. And uh, I don't know, I think the rest is fine. Yeah. yeah. Because of how we've made the geometry, we can't really make a proper pattern. But we could be interesting. We could do something interesting. Check this out. With the new material? 
Well, no, I mean, we could just make this particular sequence here. Like, that looks a little bit like arrows. You know, be, be a second material. Yeah, you missed some stuff. I can tell. Zoe here is ravaged by a hiccup. Which is quite funny. <laughs> no, I think it's going away now. Is it? Mine's coming. Hiccups are apparently mildly contagious the way um, yawns are. Uh, okay. So that should do. And the tops. Okay. Just need need stuff that sort of connects comfortably. Um, so let's just do this for now. I suspect this would be a good idea. Yeah, let's do this as well. All right, now on the other side. I think that was it. Mm, what about this side? One moment, I'm still making decisions about this. Mm. Uh, that should be okay. Maybe we can give it material C. We'll see. Uh -huh. See what I did there? I said we'll see. Oh. Very funny. Daddy jokes. Alright, here we go. I'm like a teenager. I'm like immune to being funny. What's that? I don't know. Immune incapable. That's what I meant to say. Capable You're immune from the funny illness. Illness? As you said earlier, it's destiny. Yeah. Okay. So, open all these. Somehow this turned into the theater of the absurd. And now me and Zoe are saying things that makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. At least you find them amusing. All right. Here we go. Open. 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 Select. 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 I think we missed a spot. Missed a spot. Yeah, that. Did I? I did. I didn't miss nothing. This is. Except you did. Working on it. Whip. Okay. Whip. Yeah, work in progress. Whip. Oh. Alright, so let's add one more material. Let's call it C. And say assign. And assign. And hit tab. Just take a look. Looks pretty good. No, not really. Here we missed a spot. Oh, whoops. Hit tab again. And I think this may be the one. Okay, hit tab. I wonder how this is going to look like. I think I saw a mess underneath. The fun part is that I don't think it's actually going to make a difference at all because we're going to be seeing no. this from the top for the vast majority of the time. <laughs> right. So I don't think it's going to be... You do kind of see it. Oh, from the top. Oh, yeah, you're kind of right. Plus, I mean, there will be slight perspective. So, all right, hit tab. No, don't hit tab now. Uh, this one was supposed to be divided by 64. Yeah. <laughs> Pancake base. No, it's a stick. And now it's a base. Uh, correct a mundo. That the guy can actually pick up. Yes. Uh, Alright, so this one's already called Vaz. How convenient. Call this Vaz with a capital V. Oh, wow! <laughs> How did you get it so wrong? <laughs> Save. Save. Thank you. Tab. Okay. Anything else we can do with this? I don't think so, but we will need a way to break it, and that's not gonna be nice. Which means we'll have to like, mm, what do we do to the boxes in the tank game where we broke stuff? Uh, I use cell division, cell subdivision, but that's an expensive process, and it would be a lot of um, a lot of bits. Mm. I'm not sure what I would do in on on this particular model. Um, Possibly create a sub model identical to this one uh, and carve pieces out myself, but I'm not sure. For now, I think we're gonna live with what we've got, and that's good. All right, now we've saved this because this is already imported, and Unity should exist immediately. So, inside the prefabs, uh, we have to fix this now. Up. PFX enemies 
So there. there's the enemies. Yeah, no, we don't need this, but we need something similar to this. So I was thinking whether there's something easy for us to duplicate. Um, let's create. So here we have interactive stuff. Ah, uh, sure. Let's call them entities. Duplicate the the ladder. Let's work on this. I mean, from this, rename it to vase. Mm -hmm. Now let's open the vase. Uh, so for the shadow, we're still gonna keep it. We're gonna need it. And for the model, we nope. Need to change from ladder we need you to, to become a vase. Hello. Oh. Massive. Hit Control A. Hit Control A again. Control S. Ta da! Wait. Thank you. All right. So there's the vase. Um, it's got a Y of negative one. That looks like okay. something is empty. I don't know. Negative one is actually correct. Scroll enter. There's something that. This this is empty. Yes, it's missing materials. Oh. Yeah. And the, the ladder only has one, right? Mm -hmm. So if you do three, there they are. Right? But you need the materials now. So let's duplicate this one and call it ceramic. Probably not a clever idea. But yeah. Which one should be like white or something? And uh, sure. And then duplicate it again. Call it decoration or whatever. Again, not great names because it kind of should be specific to the vase, frankly. That's okay. So decoration will go here. Oh, ceramic will go here. Okay, so now let's go change the ceramic to red. Okay, I mean just momentarily. Uh, there, this will be the typical Zelda vases, right? They're blue. Now, seem to remember them as white with the blue details. Let's put granite instead of this metal. Never mind. Let's put granite instead of the decoration and put decoration instead of the granite. And now the decoration, we can put it as red or whatever. Ah, that looks menacing. Let's go to blue. Don't open the vase. Don't open the vase. Actually, don't break the vase. Don't break the vase. There we go. Okay, looking pretty good. Uh huh. There's an interesting situation in there. See that? Yeah. Strong normals. I. Mean, it doesn't matter a huge deal, but it may affect the way shadows work. So that's strange. Let's go take a look. Mm. So these hit tab, and there's this one, and this one, and we're gonna say flip direction. Hit Control S. Let's see. Oops, <laughs> wrong ones. Undo. Now hit Z. This is gonna be annoying. <laughs> Told you. All right, so we've got a separate triangle. I think it may be this one. I think it's the one. And now we need to find the opposite one, which I think may be this one. And flip this one, hit Control S. Now the other side. Fixio. Let's see. Darn it. I think it has, but the others still have the wrong... Or no, actually it hasn't. It's oh. wrong then? Yeah, we got the wrong one. Undo. Control S. Let's see how it, how it changes. It's really hard to hear you, says Raimu. Okay. <clears throat> Does this improve things? Thanks for the information. Or are we just being too quiet? That's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah, says Zoe. Full of conviction. What does conviction mean? Is that you're certain of your position. Oh. I don't know which one of these it is. But it could be this one. This is truly... A bit of a nuisance, isn't it? So that's the one, and then there's this, say, uh, this one. Yeah, this is the one I was looking at. So, maybe this? No, that's a blue one, so it can't be it. But it could be this. It's a blue one still. 
Oh, we don't know actually. Because it's so it's showing me the other one. Oof. I like you not. Fairly sure this is the wrong one. This is definitely the wrong one. Maybe. So undo with a selection. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one at a time. So let's flip this direction, save. <laughs> Things we're trying to fix. A little quiet. All right, so we fixed that, and it's fixed it on the other side. That was the only one. Oh, still a little quiet. Well, I'm not sure what to do because we're starting to clip with the microphone. It should theoretically be quite loud. So I'm not sure what's happening. Mm. <clears throat> Everything is full blast here. Wow, we spent an hour doing art. Well, you know, welcome to the world of dev. Mm. It does have uh, disadvantages. Okay, so we got the vase. It has a map entity. It has a rotatable edge entity, no. Uh, interactive entity, yes. Of type, we're missing it, right? We gotta so, add it to the kingdom. Yeah. Exactly, so let's go right here. And you can call this one vase. Or as. That's as. Here we Save. go. Okay, so we've got a vase. I think, wait, scroll up for a sec. Yep. Scroll down. Yep. And I think I thought I had seen something different. I think I thought. I thought I had seen, no, You're I saw the a singer from R.E.M. <clears throat> Who is Maria? Eh? Who is Maria? R.E.M. It's a band. Oh. Yeah. But you can't know the band because you're not 40. Oh. Yeah. Why? You, you know, you're not even 10. The band is unimportant at this time in history. Oh. Yes. Okay, so now Why for... do I have to be 40? Uh, I was joking. Uh, you need to be older. That's That's what I meant to say. Mm. Uh, so let's reset this. There's a box collider. Now, obviously, I'm not happy with the box collider because if we do put a box collider on this, um, it's going to it's going to basically have edges when you hit it, and we don't want that. We want to sort of like skirt around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the size a little bit. Uh, let's go down to 0.4, and let's go down to 0.4 over here as well. Now this is good. Do you know why you need this? What? So you keep it up. You keep it up, sort of standing up. And now what we can do is we can add another collider, which will construct a co composite collider. Uh, go with sphere. Go with sphere. Sphere. There you go. And as you can see, it fits here. But this one has a different problem. So it's at the bottom, and it's sort of hitting the bottom. We need it to be exactly as wide as it is, but we need to lift it a bit. So, this is pretty good. There, something like that. So this one will actually do the job. It will stand upright and it will act as a collider um, that blocks you. Because if it was a spear, would the physics would roll it around? Yeah, it would start making it roll around. It would look pretty stupid. I mean, you could block it, but then when you launch it, it would. Yeah, be weird. You would be like, and then fall on the ground. I don't remember right how we did straight. this on the bombs anyway, because the bombs don't roll. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's what we'll keep here too. All right, so the model's done. Now for the shadow. The shadow is going to be interesting. Uh, let's change shadows only to on. And you've got this shape. And this shape is no bueno. Uh, let's go with sphere, first of all. And let's go with one and one. Uh, this looks a little bit fatty, so let's see if we make it smaller. Uh, there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So 75, 75, 75. That's good. Now let's lift it up. There, right here. So this is going to be what emits our shadow. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, I think this is gonna look okay. So now we're gonna go shadows only. There we go. Nice. 
Nice. So instead of edge object, what are we going to call this thing? Cared object? Certainly not, because it becomes cared later. Interactive object, though. That's a good name for it. I don't know why I went in the shadow. I meant to do it here. So interactive object. Yes, change children. Okay. So that should do. Is type vase. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting that there's a weight. There must have been a reason for this. I don't know what it is, but can't remember. Everything else should be fine. Um, I think you said it was something about pickability. You can't pickability. Pick it needs to be pick up the. So if he, he, like I can't pick up that chair because it's too heavy for me. That might might be the case. That's I why. don't know. Maybe the hand of God can be improved. Maybe. Over time, that will be that like will be a possibility. You know, our game is growing too big, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been doing it for how long now? Well, almost forty episodes. Thirty nine. Yeah, that's yeah. as long as tabletop gear went for. That's true, and we're not even like. We're not even close to done. <laughs> that's true. Let's sh let's show our audience the map. Just to have to have a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you can see, big projects are a bad idea because they never end. Uh, dun 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 dun! Oh wait, that's just the entity. There we go. So that there's our that's map. That's nothing, <laughs> and there's a ton of stuff still. Yeah, we've basically do. done like three quadrants. Uh, show grid. <laughs> we've done these three quadrants, and we planned these many. Uh, mm -hmm. But obviously we need more mechanics, uh, so yeah, we're doing the right thing now. Having vases is gonna be necessary, so you can like break them and grab hearts out of them or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and no way. So there we go. This is our map at the moment, and this is a little vase, and we're gonna have to have a color to spawn the vase. So let's worry about that now. Uh, list map colors. That's not what we're interested in. Oh yeah, we need Entity to place colors. Them. Okay, so we've already used red, green, cyan, yellow, cyan, and magenta, and white. So we're we're gonna add blue now because it's the obvious missing one. Um, pure blue, pure blue. Yeah, there we go. Uh, entity tile templates German. seven, and drag the or just change it. No, we can't. I don't think we can. Let's lock this guy. So we go to prefabs, entities, vase. Okay, entity containers. We're gonna need one more, which we're gonna create here. Uh, duplicate switches. We're naming to vases. Let's give it that. Uh, entity rotations. This one's definitely gonna be on the. It doesn't matter. So. It's entirely irrelevant how you rotate it. The whole it. thing is symmetrical. Yes, we could rotate it randomly just for interest, but I don't think it will work well with the whole voxel art. <coughs> Switch textures, this doesn't matter. Switch spike, spike colors, this doesn't matter also. Okay, so the vase is there. It's kind of ready to go. And we might as well create one for the first time, just for fun. So we're going to go to our map, hide the world, uh, show the entity. Entity tiles. Um, and what I think they should have, are you ready for this? Yeah. They should have a color that we use in the entity info uh, as a um, piece of information, right? That simply tells us what, what, the, prob no, what the probability of drops is. Oh. Because you can only technically drop two things, right? Hearts or, um, or yeah. money. Yes, rupees, rupees they call them. All right, so let's put a vase. That means right Mario. Over here. Mm, Oi! Paper. Oh yeah, I'm on the wrong. I'm oh. the wrong thingy thingy. You've oid. One and two. There we go. Okay, so now just export. Uh, Control Shift E. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, this looks Bugger. like it went the wrong way. No. There the bugger is not So display. control shifty. And we're gonna have textures entities. Replace. Export. And now if we hit play, we should get some vases to appear. There they are. Look at them. Remove the colliders. Okay, let's see if those colliders are working. They <laughs> are. Oh, and you see I don't get stuck? Yeah. See the round? That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, okay, 
I'll answer that question shortly. Anyway, so we have the vases, but we don't have the functionality at the moment. Uh, I think that's acceptable. Uh, notice how our shadow is interacting with that sphere. Well, at least I think it is. I'm not sure. Let's check it out. Check it out. Except not here. Says, says the girl here. Check it out. Yeah, no, it's actually interacting with the main model, but it should be fine. Yeah, so we've been able to keep the uh, quantity of um, geometry very low, which I think is pretty good. And what do you reckon? Do you think these are recognizable as vases? A little, but you are right, the blue is not visible. Yeah, the blue is simply not visible. So I think we're probably better off. Well, it's... Mm -hmm. I, I'd be it's a bit too bit soon to write it off It'll it be may nice. become visible the further left you go but we we ran out like I mean let's test it in a different way let's go to the other world and yeah so just quickly show the show music. the land and put a put a vase over here or something and then we'll just keep walking over here yeah and so control see. E simply and off we go off we go let's go to the next world and take a look whoop 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 I don't know if yeah anyway. have to go so there it is now we need to go further to the right all the way I can see it. I can see the book. You can? Because yeah. I can. Look, look, look at the edge. Ah, There's right, yeah, but the grass is kind of uh, hiding. You're going to get killed. You're going to get killed? No. No, I'm not. Because I'm a sneaky little, little fella. <laughs> little Ted. All right, sounds good. Anyway, it, it'll be a good idea to have these vases around. Uh, just not quite yet. We'll worry about the design of the levels later. So save this and hit Control E again. And we are going to call it a day for for now. But next time we're going to have to add these buzzes. So right. thanks very much for watching YouTube Crowd. And we'll bid you farewell. Bye-bye.